What's happening, everybody? I'm Grillmaster. Welcome back to more Breath Space. Breath Edge. I <laughs> haven't in my recorder as Breath Space. Because you can't have them the same names in the thing. So, yes. We're back with this with the Crypto Record. I don't have any. I don't have any of those. Uh, oh. I was just thinking, wait, there's a TV here. Because there was a TV in the other one. But it's broken. We have, we have tapes that we can look at. What? Kitchen. Change recipe. Use? Honey required. What? I don't... Okay. Anything in here? Yeah, we got to this last time and we're supposed to repair it in some way. So, replace. Oh, we got to actually get a steering wheel. Gotta get a navigator. This is the Normandy Autopilot course. We can't change it without a living captain in any way. Not even with a handy scrapper. However, it's highly unlikely that the captain calculated such a complex route for no particular reason, so we'd better not touch it at all. I need some time for analysis. Okay. So... What? I mean, I can't make it? I don't understand. Alright, I guess let's go outside and see what we need to do. At 200 air, my thing, my flying vehicle thing should be out here somewhere. Yeah, it's up there. Anything I need to, like, examine out we here? We can't do without some repair work here. Okay. See that hand. Is that the only one I need to do? Replace those two bits? There's something over here. Up there. Okay. All these little things, too. Uh, I got another one of those weird dolls. Okay. <laughs> Most environmentally friendly toy of the century. According to the Intergalactic Association of Echo, Echo Patriots, Greta is made from special bioplastics and organic paint with a unique formula which makes her almost edible. <laughs> it's interesting that the manufacturing of Greta what toy produces waste, which is 30 times more hazardous than ordinary plastic wobbly toys. However, the fact that it's not written on the toys. Okay. Just gonna leave you there. Uh, anything else in here? Just that? The dude here? Nothing special about him? Alright. Uh, anything else here? Nope. Alright, let's go to the actual... Whatever it is I'm supposed to repair, I have no clue. Yeah, I guess I'm still gonna be using my base. Part of me wants to explore some more of the stuff there, but... Repair tool required. All right. Have some left. That's great. It looks perfect. <laughs> I feel like we just duct taped it, and that's all we did. Oh, it's up. There's nothing down here. All right. Well, I'll take a look in here. See, I don't. I don't know what to do about my stuff and my station. Like, I don't know if I should bring it over here. I'm very confused by this Judging by thing. the traces of the struggle, she was a real warrior and a professional. One of the strongest in the team of Normandy. A real hero. It's unbelievable that in our time of gender inequality, a woman can single-handedly... Nope, I was wrong. It's just a long-haired man who stupidly died in a simple brawl. Okay. Coffins have arms. Anything special here? No? All right, well, I'm gonna go back over here and get some air, and then I'm just gonna grab my... I don't know why I didn't grab that. I think because there's so much stuff around, I was just gonna explore it. And I have some air left. This is real gold. Judging by the inventory number, this oh. is the coffin of one of the leaders of the party. However, the leader is nowhere to be seen. It seems that apart from aggressive armed coffins, we also have traces of corruption in the party. Okay. Let's go in the ship room. I need air. What do I have on me? Okay, I got water, food, use those. I have fuel for the vehicle. I have the pain robot. Uh, a blaster that turned out to be not nearly as cool as I thought it would be. I mean, I can make several things here if I need to. Uh, steering wheel, though? Is that a thing I make here? Oh wait, no, it's probably using the... this thing. Apartments? Floor? Floor. Floor. Miscellaneous. Ceiling. 
Nope. I mean, uh, it'd be in here, right? Nope, not this. Get right there. We go. <laughs> I want to get back in this. Items. Oh, it's right here. Okay. And I didn't mean to click on that. Inductor titanium times four, resin times four, electronics times two. There's nothing that says navigator, right? I don't see anything different here. I mean, we still have, see we still have like this. This, which I really like because it's 200 oxygen uh, objects. And then, yeah, that's all, I guess. Okay. Oh, I have my air. I can grab my vehicle. We can just go check out the other little things. If it's just repair, then I at least have the tool to do that. Glad I didn't use all of it. That would have sucked. I mean, I'm gonna have to go all the way back anyways to get all the other things I need, but... Air? Alright, you. Almost done! <laughs> it's literally just... Taping up everything. Alright. Nope. Don't waste it. Like, I could use that, but I don't want to waste it. Last one's up here, right? This makes it a whole lot faster. A whole lot faster than uh, <laughs> flying around without the vehicle. Like I want the car. Great job. Unfortunately, the station's control units are still broken. But the good news is that you don't need them to launch Normandy at all. I just wanted to keep you busy while I was doing some important calculations. Dude, freaking robot guy. Oh, am I gonna have to? Am I have to make an engine? Dude. <clears throat> Mo, the voice is going all weird. Please note, the coffin is almost intact. Maybe we could fiddle with it a bit. What? Fiddle with the coffin? No, examine. Hard to give this thing a name. Such research has never been mentioned anywhere. It mostly looks like a small computer with some kind of goo inside. There is no description of this equipment in my database. I assume this is the central robot system, and it seems to be powered by the products of natural decay. In simple words, these robots run on decomposed corpses. Okay. So, robot brain is this? Is this like how basically everything? It's explaining the robots that we're talking to in the very beginning. <laughs> I want. Oh yes, I want this poster. Take it. No, I said take it. Oh, I've heard turn. that Captain Shepard is a woman, but I wouldn't want to check it. Huh. <laughs> All right. Ah, uh, guess. I guess we go back and make that thing. Wait, no, there was one more part right here. This. What am I replace? Okay, so yeah, I need a maneuver engine, a console, and then the navigator, but I don't know how to make the navigator. Oh, you know what? We should probably get air before I leave. Ow. I don't have, I, I don't have any air. Did I examine all these? I don't know. I don't remember everything. Judging by the makeup stains on the wall, we can estimate the approximate flight speed of the deceased female. Or, to be more exact, the deceased male, which is a bit strange. Okay. Anything here? There's a coffin. It's unlikely that all these robots appeared here by accident. Alright. Anything else around here? Like, there's like a lot of little... This This is all unknown to me. That's one of the reasons this, I like this so much. It's all unknown to me. As far as I know, the Breath Edge Funeral Agency is in the business of burying corpses, not creating them with killer robots. But these coffins are definitely not counterfeit. Alright, are we going to end up fighting robots? That'd be pretty cool, and I would be down with that. Yeah, see, that was this, that's what was in here. I was like, oh, I wish I could take that with me. I have so much stuff to go take back to. Oh, I could have just used a candle. I realized I had 16,000 of them. Alright, let's go. You know, I don't know what else to do here. I basically just need to go back and make all that stuff, I think. But There's I... just one question that tickles my mind. Why are there so many damaged coffins? Aside from that, these coffins have limbs, weapons, and undoubtedly, active AI units, judging by the weak signals coming from their remains. Yeah, yeah. It's a bit disconcerting to see. 
But there's places I figure on the way back that I can try to see if I haven't visited. There's... I know that one of the card things is inside of an asteroid. But I kept trying to dive into asteroids because I know there's at least one of them in there. And I don't think I ever found the third one. But I don't remember where they were. And I know it's like something around here. There was like something really far away and I got there and it was like, you did something blah 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 crazy or something like that. I don't even remember exactly what it said, but I wonder if there's anything way over there. We could fly anywhere if we had enough air. Just keep using air tanks. And I don't know that where it could have been. Alright, so where have we not been? Anywhere? Is there anything over here that's different? We were there last time. Pretty sure... I'm gonna go further down. I'll see you if I come across it. After looking through the technical support application statistics, the agency decided to deal with the linearity of jokes in their spacesuits. Now you can always choose Joke 1 or Joke 2 if you buy a special Breath Edge 2 button gamepad. Random fact of the day. Ooh, ooh, here we go. This is a big deal. Not enough space. Aw, oh, come on. Get me out of here. Yeah. Closets. Now we actually have a storage. I can stop just sticking stuff in boxes everywhere. Oh, wonderful. Okay, can I use this anything else? This is why I want to look around. Is there, I know there's a bunch of stuff I still haven't found yet. But as far as... Like the base building goes, I don't... I don't know. I don't... I don't know what else... Danger. Danger. Oh! What's up there, buddy? I'm just going to turn you off real quick. Alright, you're done. Oop! <laughs> I tried I tried moving in actual life. It did not help me. Alright, anything in here? No? Alright, I'll see you again when I uh, come across something else new. I'm, I'm like positive there's somewhere around here that I can go into. And there should be a suit. I swear there's a suit for right there so I don't have to like unlock do the research for it. But, I don't know. Yeah, like right here or something. Yeah. I think this is it. I think I remember this. Uh... Maybe not? Lead guide to repairing it yourself. Despite abundance of images, most of the cars got disassembled instead of being repaired. Zaz one repair instructions. Okay, there you we go. You must scan every page to update my library. So I did get this. Yeah, there was a coffin right here, and I got close enough I could see that thing. I remember seeing that before. It means there's the other one has got to be around here somewhere. I remember that there was a piece that was over here, so I, I totally got the car before. I don't know if I ever made it, but I'm like 90% positive I got the car before. Like, it's inside of an asteroid, just like that one. Now, I want to say it was like honestly really close to this engineering place. That's why I came back over here to look. But I haven't really found anything so far. There is an asteroid over here I saw on the way up, but then I was running out of oxygen, so I had to go back. I, th I think I went down inside of it, but it was the next place I was going to stop at. Yeah, right here. I want to say I've been down here, but I don't know. If, if I have, then I'll see you at the next place. I will mark it. Oh, no, there is something in here. Because it's these trails. These trails, you see. It's like the first of you. Alright. Yes, I unlocked that. I don't I don't know if I have the stuff to Ooh. I need a grabber. Here we go. I'm gonna need air in a second too. Alright. I feel like we should probably just grab some glass for anything else that I need. Salmon. This one This one could be a pointed with a Z A Z one car, which makes it rare. 
Parody that costs a lot of money. Despite the fact that there are a lot of similarity, Christmas trees with different scents in stores. Many owners of space shuttles dream of having this particular one. Homeland scent? Oh, because it, yeah. Reminds you of your homeland. You're out in space. Makes sense. That. Alright, uh, I'm gonna keep looking around for a little bit. Because uh, I still would like to find the suit. Uh, my only problem is that I don't think I can. I think I may have to actually go back. That's my last candle. So, I'll either see you back at the ship or I'll see you at least. I'm gonna keep searching around here for a minute. Right, I've been trying to bounce off the auction. It's mostly work, like I just dive into a ship to refill. But yeah, I'm gonna keep diving into things. So I'll see you when I get back to the ship or it's on the site. You can find many ways to suffocate in space aside from chewing gum. Oh. Alright, I just had to grab that, that's how I unlocked it. Oh, there's a two. I see there's actually a dude inside of the chewing gum. I saw this before and I was like, this looks like chewing gum. Nothing popped up and I was like, eh, whatever. It's on my way back to literally where my hair is. Yeah, I was going back here. Happening over there. Straight freaking out. Alright, well, I'm gonna keep heading back. I'm... I'm, I'm basically going straight back now. Oh, you're doing that weird thing where you aren't... You don't... Oh, why? Going super slow. Here we go. See you back there. Uh, equipment? Items? Yes, I can make a steering wheel. So that'll free up a lot of space. Oh, I didn't mean to click twice. Alright, so we have our steering wheel, and then I needed to make one more thing, which was the compensator. This will give us our engine. Yeah, items. Maneuver engine. Okay, so we have our maneuver engine. The only thing I don't have is a navigator. So I don't know what to do about that one. Uh, but I do want to try to put together. Oh, I put it away. Of course, it's like the one time I actually need it. <laughs> this right here. Give me that. Give me my drill back. And then I also want to take out of this one some building things because I'm probably going to need them. I don't know for certain yet, but probably going to need them. So this. Give me the vehicle part. Floor. I need a compensator. Alright. What does that take? I mean, I have... Uh, yeah, I have enough to literally make every single thing right now. So we're good. Alright. I'm assuming the vehicle's gonna take a whole bunch of stuff. Floor. But I'm probably gonna need this in. Yeah, it doesn't work in here. Didn't think so. Can't put it in here. Can I? Yeah, wrong module. That's what I thought. We have to go out and build another module. I have no choice. I need a uh, transport. I think I can do just two and we'll be fine. Oh wait, I had to actually build the hallways. I forgot about that. The corridor off of here. And then... I don't know if I want to do small. I mean, medium? That'll be fine. Alright, so now I can go in there and I should be able, I should be good. I hope the power and everything's fine though. No, the power's not fine. Oxygen's fine. Not power. Uh. Um. Healing, miscellaneous, walls. Where's the solar panels? I just need lead and I can put, okay. Just give me some lead. Um, please tell me I have some lead. Please tell me I have some lead. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Dude. Alright, well, what is the, uh, what's the other thing I needed to build? Uh, no, there you are. Power. A generator and two titanium. My concern is... I mean, I don't even have two titanium. It's not gonna work. All right, solar panel, solar panel. Dude, I can't install these things anywhere. I swear to God. There we go. Is that enough power? Not gonna be enough oxygen. I'm, I can almost guarantee. Nope, not enough power. All right. Well. Uh, I think it's actually cold in here. 
It looks like it's cold in here. The walls are all like, and the floor is all like frost color covered. Okay, so I need some things that I don't know how. To do. Uh, can I dismantle this. Something prevents dismantle. I don't know what ha I don't know if I get all my stuff back if I dismantle, so I really don't want to. Okay, so what we need is we need a better oh improved communications. Ooh, here we go. Power and oxygen bolt. Yes. There we go. Everything's fine. Okay. Everything's fine. So <laughs> things are sitting on the Okay. That's fine. So I built this thing, so Creed's equal. Okay, we need oh it still needs the lycoplasma. No and the cores. Wow, that takes a lot more than I thought. I guess I'm just gonna go over and put the stuff in there. I really wanna use it. I really wanna make that car. But I need two two EMP grenades. I have one can right now, so it has to go get more cans. Which I can grab I guess I can grab those on my way. Drop these off. I feel like it's not just gonna be something like that. But I mean once I use that it may send us over there, we may never come back anyway. So I don't I have no I have no clue. Uh, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna leave this stuff here and uh, head over, drop these things off, and see what see what else there is. Like if if it sends us off, then we can go off. But it's gonna say something about needing a navigator, and in that case, I can use all these while I'm there. And basically, yeah, there's I'm, I'm just gonna I'm just dropping everything, everything but the actual things we need, which is these two. And yeah, we'll see what happens. So I mean, if I if I can, if there's even a point to make the car, type of thing. But I'm going back over there. Actually, you know what? Now I'm gonna do one last thing before I leave. Mostly because I need. Oh, stop! I need that suit, and I have no idea where to get it at. So this bullet fabric times two, dude. I don't know if I have enough for two. Lead paint times two, and what else was the other one? Aluminum times four. Well, I luckily just got a whole heap of ton of aluminum. One, two, three, four. All right, and then just make sure to grab fabric on my way back too. I think we're good. Where is it? Over here? I know I just got a bunch of, I only have two aluminum. No way, no flipping way. Dude. All right, well, whatever. I'll keep them on me just in case. I come back and do the same thing. We got the parts. We're back here. I let's replace this. The steering wheel is ready, and it even works. Probably. <laughs> Probably. All right. I actually had to go and edit the video that was already recorded because it was an hour and a half, and I need to see how long it actually was. I checked the course routed by the captain. There's not enough information, but it seems that he was able to calculate a route through several accelerating stations straight to the core. We can get some energy for a single warp jump there, and let's hope that Normandy survives this. Okay. I'm confused with what we're doing right now. I just need to, what, just... To step on here? But I can't. Oh man, I'm saving my game. That's it. Space, here we come. Start what is the this? engine. Wait, what? You won't be able to return temporarily? Temporarily. I will be able to eventually return though. It might. I don't know. I, I guess we're going to go. Did I do it? Oh, I got to select. Right? You can change Normandy's control mode in the steering. Uh, Wait, what? What is restart this? Restart window. I'm not good with abrupt acceleration. I hope we don't need parts of the ship that fell off along the way that much. 
<laughs> In any case, Normandy won't survive one more acceleration or any flight at all. I suggest we find a place to dock and inspect the shuttle. All right. We don't have enough engine power to activate the weapons. Oh. I don't have a boost either. That was I, I'm in. Your signal changer. Are you flying Normandy team alive? They kill you. Don't trust them. You must take control and find me. Paranoia okay. is a type of chronic psychosis common for adulthood. Either your interlocutor knows something we don't, or she's an old woman. Okay. The ship won't hold up long, so take your time. But um, I'm, I can't go any faster than I am right now. Clearly, we're going in a straight line. This is crazy, though. <laughs> Being in control of the actual ship. I can't let go or anything, so it's like, I, yeah, I'm basically forced this direction. This is cool, though. We're in, like, a whole new, new thing. I was thinking about it. It's kind of like a biome. That's you had, a like, the... Place to dock. Looks like a part of the liner's garage module. Maybe we'll find some parts for Normandy there. Okay. <laughs> That's awfully convenient. But <clears throat> it's like... Uh... Nope, I've lost it completely. He, he broke my chain of thought. Broke my chain of thought, narrator. Can't get out. It's like biomes in the sense that there's like, you have the melted area, you have the mayonnaise area, like the garden area, like it, it, there's like biomes in this game, but not in your like traditional sense. It's cool. Docking? There's a system for accurate docking installed here. That's great. Or perhaps for not so accurate docking. It looks like the engines have failed completely now and will never get to the accelerating station. Okay. It's not what you want, right? Yes. Please go to the reception. Welcome. Go to the center. This Please. is not just a garage module, but a surviving diagnostic station. However, it doesn't sound like it's functioning nominally. Yeah, it sounds weird. It looks like he was accidentally killed by the diagnostic station. I can't find any other reason for this injury. <laughs> okay. Good to know. Titanium. This worker apparently saw the death of the previous one and started running away, not looking where he was running, and without a helmet. Oh, okay. Bode well for me. It's all salty packages, which just makes you thirsty. I feel like going up towards this thing is a bad thing, right? Gravity? Spaceships don't have gravity. Everyone knows that the scientists in the Institute regarding the problems of mass are puzzling over... I can't read it fast enough. I was trying to, but it just disappears. Alright, I have a lot of space still. The diagnostics panel works, although this part clearly doesn't belong here. What part? Let me go. Eh, why not? More food over there. There's a green door over there. I think it means I can go through it. Not that side. Okay. Hey! Don't touch it! Put it back! What are you doing? Put it back! That's better. Oh, can you twist it a bit no. more? No. I think at this rate we'll achieve nothing because this thing is short-circuiting the diagnostic station's brains. So just pull out the lever. What now? Put it back. Are you messing around with me? Put it... Oh, no, 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 no. Get out of oh, here. I don't want any jerk. part of that. This diagnostic station is faulty, but we don't have any other one. The excess voltage is melting its circuits. You need to bring it to its senses somehow. Creepy. Bring you back to your senses, you dirty undies with a helmet. If you don't stop coming at me. What? This robot creeps me out. <laughs> we can't do anything here. We'll have to look for some controls. Yeah, that's not a good sign. the remnants of your dignity, you lousy pajamas. Lousy pajamas. Okay. Sure. Whatever you say, crazy lady thing. This is, there's a lot. I think they said this is like the biggest update out of the entire thing. 
Which makes sense if it's the whole end of the game and everything. But, I mean, there's still two other places after this? This is crazy. It makes me so happy. I was afraid it was going to be like, oh, here you go, now that it's the end. The really elevators quickly. aren't working. Although, it's not recommended to use elevators during a fire, earthquake, or the diagnostic station self-torture. <laughs> okay. Uh, I mean, I got stuff everywhere, but I don't know if any of it helps me. The stuff just grabbing random things. Alright, well, I can just go this way then, right? The main diagnostics room. You can say that this is the brain of the whole diagnostic station, and this brain is malfunctioning. You are the one who's malfunctioning, you funerary diaper. What? The central processor. I thought such a fragile thing should be protected somehow, and not be just sticking out of the floor like this. I stick out and in however I want. The central processor protection control console. Hmm, I see. Someone removed a protection from the processor and tried to connect it directly to the coffins. I don't know why anyone would want to run diagnostics on coffins, but the result is obvious. Damage blocks? Melted data blocks from the coffins, judging that the remains of the wires, the blocks are roughly torn out in a hurry. Which means the person who pulled them out was rough and in a hurry. I feel like Sherlock. <laughs> what? Okay. Read and install the dome. It's not working. No, something's wrong. Alright. Install dome. So I actually need to make one. Uh, wait, I can look at blueprints here. Equipment, items. Oh, is it gonna be two sides of it? Because it looks like it's only half. Non conductive gel? I don't even know what that is, man. Wire? Alright, I got some wire. I need to find a lot more lead then, right? Yeah. We need to look for lead, and we need to look for. Can I? Oh, can I, come on. Come on. Here we go. Oh. I don't know if that's necessarily necessary, but uh, <laughs> magnet. All right, here's some more lead right here. Okay, it's rubber. Oh, we can go downstairs now. And there's also a door over here and over here. There should be a voice control module of the station here, as well as its speech filters. Maybe that's why it keeps calling us names? Audio recording? Becca Bleak, Monday, 18 hour cycled. Famous song, although, to be honest, I don't know much about music. Hard for me to judge it. It's hard to listen to it. Even harder to judge. <laughs> Alright. What kind of m Or maybe it's because you're a useless garment that keeps babbling too much. Okay, I got another gravity module. I don't know what that's all about. Uh, we need the gel or whatever. I guess we're going downstairs. <laughs> I'm just gonna keep going the only directions I can go. Oh, find some controls. But I gotta seal the brain or something. It's locked from the inside. Well, that doesn't help me. Is there some sort of controls in here? But you said there was controls. I don't understand what you're talking. All right, whatever. Whatever. I guess we're going to the ship again. But I can't do anything there. And things locked. Uh, I can't go through the elevator. But I don't know where this gel is. This is food, right? Yeah, sweets package. Two more wires. Need those. I don't... Yeah, I don't know. I don't know about this gel. Oh. Mas Magnetic master key required? Oh wait, that's this thing, right? Yeah. We have a use for you. My inventory's full. Crap. Whatever. Let's do that then. Okay. Aluminum? Oh, I was like, well, I saw this little symbol on top of that. It was just the thing across the screen. Okay, so I have one. How much did we need? Because I'm assuming we're going to need two of them. We need four total. 
Oh, luckily the magnet thing has enough. And I saw one of these downstairs. Right? Yeah, there's one over there. One right here. I gotta just jump right over. And then just one more. And there's a bunch of them. But I mean, if it's only two and two, please tell me it's only two parts. It's not actually gonna be four. I think we're good now. Equipment item. Uh, lead times four? Oh crap. Okay, I thought I thought it was only two. Yeah, I need more lead. All right, I'm gonna go back to the ship though, and I guess we'll make this on there. Uh, I'm gonna see what thing exactly. I'm gonna I'm gonna try to find lead on the way back. All right, so processor dome. I, I didn't find any more lead, so I'm just hoping that. <laughs> Let's get this thing fit easily in the pocket. I'm hoping we only need one. I'm really hoping. Because if not, then, well, that's that's going to be problematic. Put all this way. Put all... Wait, no, you know... Uh, yeah, actually, I don't want to use those here. Random things away. Hold on to that. And just in case, I assume we don't need that, but... I think of what else possibly keep. I want to have some free inventory space. Wait, a pair of boxes I've grabbed are actually in here. What? Really? Because those are both pairs that I grabbed. There's, there's a couple I don't think I ever did. Okay. Please creepy robot reception. lady Welcome. thing. Go to the center. Stuff Please. here in Sandy. Can we go anywhere else? Or are we stuck in here? To the diagnostic center. Yes. No. Please go to the reception. Freaking seriously. This robot unsettles me. All right. Just in case, I'm gonna go down there and see if we can put it on. If not, I'll make the second one up and go down there. All right. Install the dome. Find some controls. That's all I had to do. It's just one. The processor control panel. We can restart the whole station with it. All right. Leave my processor alone. If the station doesn't like it, then we're doing it right. Okay. Uh, what's this? It looks like we'll have to remove the excess voltage first. Okay, I assume. Do the other handle? What kind of people are you? It looks like the unprotected processor was causing power supply overload. This should help a little. All right. You better help yourself, sweat-smelling piece of junk. Does this mean we can go down here now? Eh, we keep getting stuck on like everything. All right, let me through. Deeper into the station we go. <laughs> this is cool. This rotor is damaged. It's not quite needed for the diagnostic station's work. It'd be better to turn it off somehow. All right. These are the levers controlling the rotor's speed. So I gotta like just what? Just it's hit not all of them? working. You should first press the left one, then the right one, or maybe the middle one. They're perfect. You managed to break the rotor. It doesn't matter <laughs> though. Too bad it didn't hit you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> straight. That was great. Just launch it straight into the wall. Uh, all right. Well, we're good on food. I don't think I have any of that. I'll take some of that. I'm trying to think of like what's on the ship already. I don't think I have any magnets. <laughs> this is ship. Unfortunately, the item cannot be displayed in your country. Hard to say who brought this on board the liner. To be honest, I've never seen anything more disgusting than this. I don't think I ever will. The creator was clearly sick in the head. I don't know who hit it here, but why are you touching it? Throw it away before it appears on someone's live stream. <laughs> All right, it's just a box. I love it. Aluminum, battery. Oh god, I'm like filling my friggin' inventory. This over looks here. like a passageway to the debugging compartment. Perfect. All right, more wire. But I didn't have to do the other thing. I just have a bunch of lead now too. I get the feeling this is probably gonna open up into another area. I'm not gonna grab those yet. 
That locked door. Probably unlocked the locked door. Oh no! Oh. Come on now. None of that. I don't want none of that. Give me the, give me the health. Kit. I actually do need that. Uh, <laughs> the problem is I don't know what to get rid of. I don't want to get rid of anything. I have a health kit. I thought I didn't have one. Light bulb, rubber. There's something wrong here. I don't know what this dead man was trying to do, but the compensators shouldn't be under voltage. All right. Uh, no. <laughs> Come on now. <laughs> don't I have? Yeah. I assume I need to get both of them. No, there's only this one. What's going on? Reattach the clips. Oh. No. Oh my control. God. This like freaking robot. Along, right. <laughs> Super unsettling. <laughs> uh, what? This book series in the footsteps of Fifty Shades? What? Alternative engineering? What is happening? I in previous books such as Alternative Medicine through drink. <laughs> okay. Uh, that's a thing. Success in the movies, they predicted this robot would have a great future. Poor fellow. How did he end up participating in something like this? By the way, it's now clear how this station was maintained and why it became deranged. <laughs> Alright. Uh, let's keep going on, I guess. Alkali. What is this? Filter? Repair tool required? I'm pretty sure that broke. So I'm gonna have to make one of those, probably. Turn off the power. We've been in this situation before. If we fix these broken wires, we won't have to break the door. Probably. Okay, repair, quick. Need to re Oh, come on now. Tell me there's a repair tool in here, please. I assume that's how we open the door to go through no the thing. Oh, do I really have to go all the way back? Come on. What is this? Hey, navigation chip. Yeah, I want that. Come on, somebody have a repair tool. Don't, don't, don't do me like this. I've always had a repair tool. I mean, the one time I don't. Oh my god. All right, I gotta go run back to the ship and make a repair tool. What does it require? Do I at least have everything? Aluminum or f yes, I have everything. All right, I'll be back in a second. Unless I can be lucky and find one on the way out that I somehow walk past. Holy six minute run. <laughs> Alright. Uh... Why would you do this to me? God, why would you remove that from my freaking inventory? That scared the crap out of me. Okay. I, I just thought we needed that, but oh my god, I took the freaking this out of my inventory and I thought I just immediately used it up in one go. And I'm like, dude, it took me six minutes to run back here. Don't make me do this again. <laughs> oh god. All right. Neutralize. Oh, okay. Just repair. Okay. That went differently than I expected. I expected it to be more than once. Ah. Oh, all right. I'll repair it this time. Don't Just like looking at it like what's happening. I don't even uh, know if that's a good sign. Ugh, it has a toggle switch. Disgusting. What? Alright. Don't touch anything. This should help a little. Although touching a toggle switch, even to survive, I really don't know. Push my toggle switch okay. to on. Ugh. No! To on. Weird robot. Stop being all creepy. Now. Can you hear it? I can't hear its angry babbling either. Looks like it's time to reboot the central processor. All right. We do good. What happened? Did you just reboot me by just pushing the button? I take it you'll continue damaging the equipment until I run diagnostics? Well then, uh, the core of your shuttle is melting, the weapons are uncalibrated, passive defense is not installed, active defense is not installed. It's nothing but uh, a tin can. Happy now? Uh, I'll fix your engines and you'll get out of here. Okay. Okay. 
Sounds good. <laughs> That's a good deal. And the only possible one. The diagnostic station is not designed for complex repairs at all. It's time to return to Normandy. By the way. Oh, you're back already? It's done. By the way, you were saying something about going to the accelerating station. All right, let's take a look around. We're definitely not in a hurry. Oh, okay. I mean, I'm literally right here. What do you, what? I'm sure we won't last long without decent repairs, so oh. even the security systems won't be needed for the shuttle to fall apart. As for the friend or foe identification oh. system, I don't know anything about it. Okay. Uh. Great. The engines are working. The life support system is working. The weapons are active. Didn't I just get a navigation thing, though? Yeah, there was like a navigation thing, I thought. Free to install the navigator? I shouldn't have said anything about the weapons. I have to warn you about the illegality of shoot. Ah, uh, never mind. How do I? Wait. wait. Alright, apparently I can create and make it now. But I just. How do I. How do I get out of here? <laughs> okay. It's like I don't even way, know where I'm the going. The weapons calibrate themselves automatically when shooting at random targets. I have no idea where to look for everything else listed in the diagnostics, and therefore, I suggest exploring the nearest debris. Alright, well, how do I get out of this? This is what I'm gonna. This is what I don't understand. Is I can't let go of this. Do I just fly over by the debris and we're good? Wow, this place, these things are far away. What's that up ahead? I'm not mistaken, am I? Is it a fully functioning breath edge coffin with hands? We've already seen such coffins, but I doubted it until now. An automatic maintenance team. They can patch us up, but nothing more. We can't get them to completely repair the shuttle. I'm afraid it's useless to seal such a breach. I even feel a little sorry for the poor fellows who can only work according to the rules without the possibility of making logical decisions. I just go in here in this? I'm so confused. Like, how do I... Okay. Not that. How do I get out of the driver's seat? I don't know. What is this about? So is this like enemies that I'm going to be shooting? Off in bot station, I assume. Oh, yeah. What? This is turned into a whole different type of game. These, I don't even know what to call them. Coffin bots? They are not our friends for sure. I'm gonna go destroy your station before I do anything else. I'll fight you out. Alright. No caution. Critical damage. Oh, God. Oh my god, I just realized how much damage they did. However, I'd like to know that your shooting skill is absolutely unimportant. These weapons have simplified artificial intelligence for self burning system, and they simply oh god. Hey, They're just spinning in circles right now, it's so like, what is happening? Blah. It's almost like they don't even know what they're doing. <laughs> Look at this spinning. I have 55 health right now, so I know that's like the main thing I want to do. Avoid taking any damage. Okay, you said something could repair me. How do I go, do I go use this? Because I definitely need repairs. Definitely need repairs. This is crazy. <laughs> How much of a difference this game is. Oh, it's over here. All right, fix me up. Go just fly through. Oh, we can have a lot more health than that. We only had 250. Making this thing brand spanking new. All right, give me a thousand. It's almost like Great. Gosh. We didn't blow up and are back in line. All right. We gotta place 3,000 meters, 7,000 meters. Is, like, can I do anything with these places? There's no debris or anything. Like, I don't see anything floating around in space, so it makes me think that we can't even get out of this. 
Looks like this is the debris of the liner's bow. It was the only part that contained unique observation modules with domed glass. How this glass survived the disaster is a mystery to me, but it would be nice to get inside, at least out of curiosity. Oh, up there? Okay. I guess that's what you're talking about? I'm not 100% sure. This is the closest thing to us, though. Oh, it must be this one. An actual dome. This is huge. <laughs> Holy crap. <laughs> this is nuts. Like, and I mean, there's still two more places after this? I don't expect the third, the third, the fourth one. I figured the fourth one's gonna probably be, like, where the end of the story is. But I don't know. I didn't expect this, either. This is cool. I knew, I do remember seeing something about, like, being able to control the ship. According to the number, this is one of the domed cooling modules. The extremely low temperatures overboard and the huge volumes of working fluids allowed the modules to maintain almost any temperature in the shell of the cores without unnecessary energy consumption. We could use something like this for the damaged core of Normandy. Alright, so we come in here to get upgrades? Is there, like, a landing site just like the other places? Hopefully no creepy robot lady. <laughs> Alright. How do we get in? An external docking airlock. You can get inside from here. Or rather, you could get inside if you could break all this ice. Break all this ice. Okay. Am I supposed to shoot it? That's much better. You can dock now. Alright, cool. Oh, this is what they were talking about about the docking station we could add to our thing. Connect with this ship freaking cool i never even thought about that so the ship that i wanted to make is pointless now <laughs> because i think this is basically what we fly around Whoa. i have no detailed information about the liner's cooling system in my database but i'm sure you'll have to find something and break something all right i'm gonna go drop things off i have a bit too much stuff on me like all this don't need any of all of this right now. Use lots of inventory space for me to grab lots more resources because everything's inside of ships this time. I'm a little worried that it's going to get cold in here. I don't have my cold suit because I never made it. Because I could never find it. Oh my god. <laughs> Loading screen. I wonder if you can call icicles icicles in zero gravity. Technically, they form in a different way, which means they must have another name. Orbicles, for example, or uh, expandicles, versticles, pressuricles. I don't know. I'll allocate one of my processors for generating the name, perhaps. All right. Everything's just frozen here. Okay, light bulbs. Magnet. Is there going to be a reason for a scanner? I feel like that's the reason you're giving me all this stuff. Me two waters. I don't need the food because that gives me a lot of food, but it also makes me thirsty. Plastics. Nothing? No story about this guy? What happened here? Alright. Place is crazy. Like the difference is even between the different like places. There we go. That one doesn't make me thirsty. No communicate still? Alright. We're just gonna keep on trucking. It looks like this is not a passageway leading to the dome, but a temporary storage module. I didn't know it was located in this part of the liner. Alright. Metal. I'm getting all kinds of goods. Magnet. So it is. These are temporary storage refrigerators. Everyone who was lucky enough to die during the flight on the liner was placed here, and according to my data, there were many of them. <laughs> what? Alright. Oh my god, yes, give me that. Now I don't have to get the suit and go inside and get the hot thing. I just got some right here. More lead. And say I gotta be filling up my inventory. I'm sure there's gonna be like a mission item or something we're gonna want to get in here. Okay. Cryo chambers. Hello. 
magnet. Just walking around. Oh man, it's gonna get stinky in here quick. Refrigerator. This is why I figured it gave me that stuff. Very interesting. The design of these refrigerators is not that simple. If I had more information, I could make a useful blueprint for Normandy. Okay, so I need to I need to find more is what you're telling me. Well, what else do we have in here? Nothing. This place is cool. All the cryo. This boulder could be named in your honor. Just look at all the stuff it destroyed. Whoa. Um, that's I assume that's the way I'm supposed to go. But first, everything is blocked with ice further on. It's unlikely we'll be able to break through. No. It doesn't look good. Alright, well, what about up here? I mean, where's my... Is it another cryo place? Is there going to be another refrigerator in here somewhere? Oh! Oh no! This guy's just apparently did what? People get shot here? What's up with this place? He's missing an arm. What? Again, refrigerator. Oh, heh. <laughs> Amazing! I can't imagine how this happened, but by looking at the junction box in his hand, I can make a rough diagram of how to connect the refrigerator. Okay. <laughs> this is one of the pieces I needed. I was thinking that one looked a little different than the rest. Okay. Interesting. The deceased has no pathologies or external injuries. He's healthier than you. What? Movies? Game of Throne? Game on a throne. Eh. Universal cough mixture? Now everything is clear. I must say it looks pretty accurate. Even died awkwardly like the character in that series. Okay. I don't know. I don't get it. I've never seen that show. Navigation chip. Yeah, okay, isn't that what I need? Maybe? I have no clue. Uh, whoa, I'm floating. Oh, this is the area that was up here. Oh, it still keeps this going. This is clearly not just simple steam, but something much colder. Although you could get under the dome from here. Okay. Well, it's probably another refrigerator thing here, right? I think I got blown out of there. Uh, right here? Despite the damage, the nitrogen valve control unit in this refrigerator remained intact. Very interesting. I'm just gonna use that and max my health out so I have more room. It gives me two more spaces. Looks like I figured out the general concept of integrating thermal control systems even though I don't have an engineering chip installed in me. All that's left is to study the cooling system controller and figure out where to get the working fluid. Then we can assemble a cooling unit for Normandy. Simple as pie. Oh god! What? Oh, so fast! Oh no! You lie again. You are here. That means death was impossible. Tell truth. Confirm. Alright, so yeah, I don't want to just this go is up. clearly not just simple. Looks like I figured out the general concept of integrating thermal control systems. Turn the A02 valve all the way to the right, then the three nitrogen reduction valves. Turn the B6 valve to the left at a 30 degree angle. Don't forget to depressurize the valve. Now it's clear how to disable the flow of nitrogen. <laughs> well, okay. Or like this. Alright, time to check the dough. There we go, now I'm not dead. I had to go through all that stuff again to get in there. The cooling system controller should be here somewhere. Oh. We're looking for some sort of a... Uh, box? No, probably a computer, or a room, or maybe a data block, or a barrel with a button. I haven't fully studied what it should look like. Alright, well you know what, I'm gonna end it here for now. Uh, we'll just keep going on from this next time. This is cool, like we're in such a crazy place. <laughs> like I wasn't expecting to like literally bounce, I thought we were just gonna go to that ship and that ship was gonna be the end. The ship was much further away than I thought it was. And I mean, we still have other places to go after this and everything, so yeah, I'm gonna leave it here. Uh, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye for now.